your move, Unreal. with care is the key to a healthy lifestyle. Meet Sarah. Sarah brushes her teeth and does her homework on time. She's a good explosion woman. That's Debbie. She's a stupid... When Sarah explodes a barrel, she holds the control stick the entire time. But let's watch Debbie. She lets go of the stick when she hits the barrel. Wrong move. Observe this gap. Sarah is frugal with her explodes, saving each until she absolutely needs it. Debbie twitches on her explode button like a heroin junkie. She should have spaced out her explodes. Now she's used them all up and is nothing but char. Nobody liked you, Debbie. Sarah explodes off walls to quickly get where she's going. Debbie, come on out, Debbie. Don't be scared. Give it a try. <sighs> Sarah knows that she can explode three times before she needs to recharge. She can recharge by touching the ground, sliding on a wall, or by exploding a barrel. Very nice, Sarah. Hold on, Debbie. Why don't you demonstrate how you can hold the right trigger to kill yourself if you ever get stuck? That's a good girl. Here we have a couple of zip lines. The straight ones you need to explode off of while the hook-ended ones will throw you all by themselves. Whoopsie daisy, you forgot to explode. Go ahead and give it another try, Sarah. Everyone makes mistakes. Perfect. Your turn, Debbie. You did it. But you know, Debbie, you should have kept your f hands off my man. <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Another Tuesday, another day to share another indie game. So, I decided to go ahead and go with this one. Because, well, why not? It's a fun little indie game. 
that and with games going to live soon dying is also going to be going to Steamworks saying well by side share it with you guys. Now would it be in the game even though it has support from Microsoft Studios? Yeah. Uh Twisted Pixel doesn't really have a lot of games, but every single one is pretty fun. Let's see. They have this, they have Comic Jumper, they have the mall, and they have Miss and then they had the original Explosion Man, which was hard as heck. Now this one's a little easier. But I find the challenges are way more forgiving. Well, sorry, this game is harder. But the challenges are more forgiving, I think. Anyways. Um, it's a fun game. I really did have a kick out of it. It has been a while since I played it. And well, it's definitely, I find it better than the original. And well, I couldn't think of anything else for Indie Tuesday, so I thought I'd do this. It's currently $10 on Steam, and I believe it's $15 on Xbox Live. No, I'm not sure for the Xbox. I haven't purchased any games on that in so many years, so... Anyways... There's also a fun multiplayer up here, and I would show you guys footage of it, but, well... I don't have someone else to play it with. So... Maybe next time, when it comes to Steamworks, I'll be able to, uh... I'll show you guys a little bit of the water footage. This looks like a really good soundtrack. And it's got perhaps the simplest control of any other game I've ever seen. You use the analog stick, and you can use any button to jump. Or in this case, explode. C, X, Y, B, A, they all do the same thing. And I just find the character fun, especially the little subtle things. Uh oh. Yeah, I am a little rusty. I can't even do a simple jump like that. <laughs> so I did have footage earlier, but uh, it kind of got erased. That my voice was not coming out at all for some reason during the recording, so... Just have to do it this way. I still haven't figured out why it does that. And I don't have any real money for an actual good microphone. So, I mean, if ever anyone has any uh, advice, let me know. I currently use Play Claw for this. Though I'm having to use Odyssey for my uh, for recording. And then I just have to combine both files, which is kind of a pain, but, you know, it works. But, yeah. I thought I'd show a little bit of gameplay of this, uh, and then, you know, just let you guys know what's going on. But, um, for anything, for a fun co-op game, this one definitely takes the cake, and I think it's worth the $10. You know, even for the single player alone, it's fun. And then you also unlock something special at the end, you get to unlock Hardcore Mode, which is pretty much this game's hard mode. And this is the one thing I don't like about the game, is it shows you your shows you where you have to attack. I don't like hand holding like that. That's why I like Dark Souls so much. Maybe I should do a let's play of that sometime soon. We'll see. But yeah, hardcore mode is pretty much the same as normal. The levels aren't any different. Uh, oh yeah, I should mention there's uh, 50 levels in this game. But uh... Hardcore mode is pretty much the same. No level changes or anything. But the biggest difference is there are no checkpoints whatsoever. So that means if you, 
you screw up, like, if I screwed up this boss, I'm gonna have to start the level all the way over. And, on the first one, that really ticked me off, because some of the levels were extremely long. And then just messed up right at the very end, it drove me bananas. Yeah, I swear, that's just a reference to Predator. <laughs> Maybe I've seen that somewhere else before, I don't know. But that's what it makes me think. Anyways, like I was saying, I, it really did tick me off. While this game is definitely harder, I think it's a little more forgiving in the level link. Seven big round of endurance everywhere, it's just a very short endurance test. I mean, heck, even a loading screen is a little bit better. Huh, never saw that screen before. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, it is harder, but it's much more forgiving. But, if you guys are looking for a $10 game, I definitely suggest you buy this. It's well worth the money. that, uh, I will be starting Mass Effect again, uh, well, the Milky Effect, as I've been calling it. Thank you guys so much for, uh, supporting me on that. It does mean a lot to me. But, um, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to share you guys with another indie game. And like I said, it's a great game. I think you guys would like it. Especially co-op. You know, that's some of the best fun you're gonna have, even if it is pretty challenging. Which I think this game improves on. The first game, the co-op was not well designed. And just trying to beat it, uh... It drove me and my friend insane. But, you know, we did, and... You know, I'm really happy with that, even though it did take me forever to beat Hardcore Mode on the first game, I was able to beat this one rather fast. But, um, not really much more else is happening. But yeah, I will be starting another, uh, season of the Milky Effect, and I died. Yay. Anyways. Um, I'm going to post a journal about it on my DA, and you guys can see my DA in the link below. Um, I may also, um, post a video announcement about it. And I died again. But I'll t probably definitely post a video announcement about it, and then you guys can just join it and see then. It's going to be the same schedule as before. 
though if that's gonna change, I don't know. Uh, work is pretty much uh, demanding that we have a new schedule here in a little bit. Wow, I am just really bad today. Then again, I'm not really trying that hard, so... It could just be my fault. But yeah, another journal. Uh, it's probably going to be next week or so. I'm still working on something special for you guys. But, after, uh... I really did enjoy the first one. And I do hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Thank you for all the support and everything. Um, I am looking forward to the next game. Oh my god, I can't believe I managed to save myself. Another Indie Tuesday. You guys have a good night. I will see you next time.